At this point, government has not yet addressed the need to negotiate with the telcos for a reduction in their tariffs to benefit the millions spending longer hours online and making calls. As I speak, several students and pupils are having lectures and school lessons online because of the coronavirus disease. This has drastically increased their expenditure on internet usage to the extent that some can no longer cope. Indeed, there have been reports of several students who are unable to complete online lectures because their data ran out. Several people are also working from home. Due to these pressing needs, I wish to bring the issue of internet and voice services back as another priority on the agenda. I've already suggested that government can assure the tel telcos of a free six-month extension of their licenses, some of which are said to be expiring soon. This value can be applied to cushion consumers during this three-month period. Additionally, the telcos can also be compensated with funds from the Ghana Investment Fund for Electronic Communications, GIFEC, which already has the mandate to ensure universal access to telecommunications. Furthermore, the National Information Technology Agency, NITA, should leverage its robust broadband infrastructure, 4G cell sites and optic fiber cables, a lot of which were deployed during my time, to meet the increased demand for wireless and fixed broadband services in these COVID-19 times. Also, the removal of the 50% increase in the communication service stack, CST, will provide further relief for the many who are having to work or stay at home at this time. 